All right guys, so MXGP 2024. So I've been getting quite a few questions on my videos about this game and if I know any more information or I, I've seen gameplay or if I know anything about the game. And I haven't really responded to them yet, but this video is your response. So this is what I know about MXGP 2024. This is the news and the information and everything that's out there about the game. So. I want to start the video off talking about the NACON. I might be saying that wrong, but NACON Connect event held a, f uh, a month ago, maybe more than a month ago. They did an event where the studios they own were able to showcase the games that they were working on or had been working on or whatever. I mean, it was just a games showcase type of event, pre recorded but live streamed. And I was waiting for MXGP. 2024 news and we did get it about halfway through but it was very underwhelming and it wasn't much so basically it was halfway through the the broadcast they were doing and it was just a, a short clip from real life mxgp from the british gp the matterly basin i think it was a quick real life clip from there and then it showed like prado holding a trophy at the very end and it just said MXGP. So no gameplay, no announcements for anything besides, hey, KT Racing is working on a new MXGP game. I really thought we would get more. So I did some digging and found out that Nacon has already said that MXGP 2024 will be releasing in late 2024. So... We probably won't expect to see this game until October, maybe November, probably October or November. We've seen it with Milestone, um, so after the MXGP season is over. And I, I'm assuming it's going to be based off of the 2024 season, so um, I guess it makes sense that it is that way, um, just because. But the funny thing about the trailer, since they showed Matterly Basin, is that I don't believe that track is on the schedule this year. I don't think it's on the schedule, but it aren't. Isn't that track the one that's going to host the Motocross of Nations? I think I'm not sure. So maybe we get that in the game too. I'm not really sure. Just it was a random real life clip they wanted to show. Also, the other news or information we do know is that this game will only be made for current gen. So PS5, Series X, and PC Steam, I believe. So no last gen. I know some people are going to complain about that, but we're far enough into the, the current gen cycle that it makes sense. And they can probably make a better game that way. So good for that. I have no problem. But um, if you're a pl PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One X player, you won't be able to play the game um, because it won't be on that platform. So... That's some more information. Also, and this was a little bit of a speculation. I guess KT Racing has their own game engine. So we probably can expect MXGP 2024 to be made off of KT Racing, the studio's uh, in-house game engine, right? So probably not Unreal Engine, no Unity or whatever. It'll be their own game engine. So I kind of want to ask the question to you guys. This isn't just about information we know and news about the new MXGP game, but have any of you guys played a game, a racing game by KT Racing? Have any of you guys played the, what is it? Uh, the, the, I don't know if it's a MotoGP game or the Superbike games or whatever. Have any of you played those games and if those games are made with that um, in-house game engine that they have, were they good? From what I've heard, their games are okay, and they do work on them and improve them over time. So I do believe that KT Racing will do a good job with this game. It's just, you know, it's the first one they've done. Um, the first real, I guess, dirt bike type of game they've done. Um, so it'll, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. But... We have five years. We have five years of KT Racing making this game. So even if it isn't perfect the first time around, I know it's a yearly release, so there's a minimal amount of things they can maybe do depending on how much stuff they have to work on outside of MXGP. But hopefully if it isn't exactly what we want, 
it can get to that point eventually. Also, I'm not really sure how willing KT Racing is to listen to player feedback and then incorporate that into the game. Sometimes it feels like Milestone doesn't really listen to the players and then they just do what they want and then the players are disappointed and unhappy with what they they give to us. So hopefully KT Racing is open to player feedback and community feedback to improve their game. Um, also, and it is pretty obvious, but it will have the official tracks, the teams, the riders, you know, it is an officially licensed MXGP game. So we'll have all that stuff. But the one thing I'm not sure we're going to get is a track editor. I would be a little bit surprised to see a track editor in the game. I mean, maybe eventually, but Milestone didn't give us a track editor for, for quite a while. I mean, we went through MXGP 1, 2, 3, Pro, and then 2019, I believe, was the first track editor in and MXGP plus Milestone had been doing, you know, the track editor in Supercross already. So basically it just made sense that they put it in MXGP as well. So um, I don't expect to see a track editor, but um, yeah, that's basically all we know. The game will probably come out, well, it says for sure late 2024. So for sure this year, probably in the fall. We don't know exactly when. Current gen only and it'll have all the official stuff on it you know teams tracks and riders and whatnot and what else the probably the game will be made on the the studio's own game engine so that's the majority of the news i have for you i'm sorry i don't have more i'm sorry i don't have gameplay but um yeah i really expected the nakon connect event to i don't know maybe maybe not have gameplay maybe some screenshots in the game you know something but they decided to not show anything so i would assume that means the studio doesn't have too much going on maybe they do maybe they have a bunch done on the game and they're farther along than we think in the the trailers and you know announcement trailers and stuff will start popping up this summer i mean i would assume we'll probably start getting some trailers in the summer it, it would be odd if we don't it's just odd that they didn't have some kind of a trailer to go along with the the beginning of the mxgp season right started what kind of the beginning of march so i it, it just feels a bit odd that they decided to do it that way but um i don't know if you watch watch mxgp have there been any commercials about the game i highly doubt it um i watch highlights but i don't watch it in you know real time so i i don't know has there been any mention or announcement of mxgp are they um mxgp 2024 are kt racing and mxgp 2024 a sponsor i i really don't know i don't know how it works and um i'd be really curious to see which is why i wanted to make this video one to try to answer a bunch of the questions that i've been getting about the game and i don't know too much more than you guys probably do now, I did do some digging and found out some other stuff I didn't know, but no, whatever you guys can find out, no, is what I know. I haven't been able to talk to the studio. I haven't, nothing. I don't know anything more than what I just told you. And so if you know something else, please enlighten us on the channel and um, share it with the community here. If you know something about watching MXGP that they've talked about or announced, it'd be really cool if you um, put that here as well. And then... Um, if you did happen, I know one person was watching the the Nakon Connect event waiting for MXGP news with me because it was in the live chat and they said they were a little bit disappointed about it. If you saw that, were you as disappointed as I was? I mean, yeah, it's quite a ways till we probably get the game, but either way, I, I really was expecting more and, and whatnot. And if you... Um, I don't know how many people have the new PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X, but if you don't, I'd be really curious to see if you are one of the people that don't have the new console. And so if the console is your only only way of playing these games, you're just kind of left out, right? But, you know, again, I already said it. I don't think that's, I mean, it's time. It's time that current gen is current gen and last gen is left as last gen in my opinion and i believe it helps them to make a better game overall for pc and for 
for the current generation of consoles. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'd be really curious to see and um, have a discussion and talk to you guys about it. I'll try to get back to you in the comments. I know I haven't been as good about it, but um, I'll try to have a discussion with you down there if you do have something um, to say. So you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.